hello everybody welcome back to my channel so it's me sam i'm back with another video for you i know um it's been a little bit of a while i did say i probably have a little bit of a break from it and I expected things to be so much better by now and they're not they're probably even worse than when i last talked to you so shane you obviously know tested positive for the um hang on so yeah, so I'm just talking to my boys there. So I've just been to pick them up from school and uh, that one what I was saying, were it? I'm just gonna out and bleed Ned. What were they on about today? Right, hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I've last done one. Well, you know my channel. Oh, that doesn't sound right. I've got my boys in back, they're laughing at me. Right, I'm so sorry since it's been um, a little bit of a while since I've done um, a video. I've tried to catch up with a lot of the comments and things and if I've missed yours, I'm really sorry. Just let me know um, and I will I will try and message you back on this one. Um, oh, do you know what? For finally, I've remembered that Nat, one of my um, subscribers, Nat, wanted to know about face creams that I use and I've remembered when I'm in the minibus out in... Um, in own bargain so if I remember when I get home now <laughs> it's only L'Oreal stuff that I use I don't um, I ain't got this magical skincare routine and I've not got magical skin either it's terrible I cover it up well with foundation and stuff like that but anyway let's do a little catch up of what's been going on so when I last spoke to you, my son Shane had tested positive for um, coronavirus and um, I were right worried and stuff like that Shane was quite unwell with it Shane's 11 and yeah it, it was really you know eye temperatures short of breath on the first night really just not himself he wasn't clapping he's, he's autistic as Shane and he, he, he usually can't sit still and things and he wasn't really clapping he wasn't moving much he wasn't bouncing like he usually does he wasn't making these noises that he does when he's happy and he, he just really wasn't well and now he's like you know he's bouncing all over and he's happy again so it, it has taken a while and he's still got a bit of a cough but he's doing really well and um, so that was the monday and then by the saturday we've been testing the kids obviously the old ones have still been going to school and we've been testing them every day and on the friday one of them was absolutely fine and then by saturday morning he woke up feeling rough and he had two positive lateral flow tests and then he had a positive pcr after that so he hasn't been to school either um again his symptoms weren't really that bad he's felt like he's had a really heavy cold I've barely seen him. He's been glued to his PlayStation and I've been taking him like up food and stuff like that when I can. But he's not men now and he can go back to school next week as well as Shane. So that's him. And then we thought, right, OK, well, that's been nearly a week now. And then today, Dave's tested positive. He's had two positive lateral flow tests this morning. He's had to come home from work. Well, he didn't even get to work, which thank God, because I think one of them would have had a panic attack if he did. Which sound on it. I feel so sorry for him because Dave is one of the most... He's like a gentle giant, you know, and he does his best and he tries for everybody. And I know that I can have a go at him a lot of times, but he's used to it. It's how we always are. We like bounce off each other that way. Um, but I don't like it when anybody else does that with him. And at work, it just sounds like that's what's been going on. I won't say too much. Now. I mean, they probably do. Um, well, I don't think they'll really watch these videos, but they might do them now because they'll think, oh, she's a, he's a say no. Well, yeah, I fucking am really mad. <laughs> um, I think it's absolutely awful how it gets for doing the right thing i mean he's double jabbed the guidance says you go to work which is what he's done and it's kind of like he's been singled out for it and they're having a go so dave don't say that that's the impression that i'm getting see dave even with me he won't really slag people off or say really horrible stuff or like that because that's just not his nature not unless they really cross him and um you know he, he is he, he likes to get on with everybody and do the right thing and you know it, i told him just leave i don't even want him to go there anymore i honestly don't they're treated to be treated like that i'd rather he just left but then of course jobs you know they're not just there are they and um, we've got so much to so i just feel like he's proper torn at the minute and i feel so rotten for him oh sorry boys am i talking too long yeah <laughs> they're boiling it back at mini bus while i'm, I'm telling me channel what's Don't happening my skin fries going <laughs> <laughs> it is a bit hot in here right we were going into our bargains and before anybody has a go i'm gonna put a mask on i have lateral flow tested myself before i've come out obviously i can't just desert my children at school and i've had to go and pick them up and and they need to get jodie some stuff to do her artwork for college and a couple of bits she did actually go out to get them herself earlier lateral flow tested again um but they didn't have what she needed at pound shop but i made sure she brought me back a subway sandwich and even poor joe did you know everybody lately seems to be right nasty these days she even had to you know somebody at subway ryan right yeah. somebody had a go at jodie saying you're in my personal space and move away from me and stuff and she poor lass had a bloody um 
mask and everything on and she wasn't even that close to him. I thought if I'd have been there, if I'd have been there. Um, let's get off into home. Oh look, Christmas trees. Wow. It's alright, we're not about for your bedroom. Yeah. What about all these big feathers? No, different colours there, nice though. No, they're not. Tree skirts there, look. Very nice. Feather bowers. I love those baubles, but I don't know what colour I'm going for. Oh my god! Look at those little boots. They're like Millie's first little boots that she had in Caitlin. Minecraft <laughs> Oh, look at them ones there, nice. Minecraft shoes. They're like a massive big pom pom. Oh, we've still got them polar bears there, look. They're oh, nice. Oh, sweet you ones. Oh, they're so cute. <laughs> we've seen some stuff. <laughs> Ryan. Oh, look, it's that dog off of EastEnders. <laughs> Metal dog on EastEnders. Oh, look at little ballerina shoes. We'll be oh, I like that as well. The Halloween stuff I wanted, but they've got four all. I got them last year in pink and the bro. Didn't make it to the tree. I've got that already. What? Well, I'm not buying a pink. Rainbow. Oh, you like that one, cringe? Yeah. 11.99 then. 8.99 for kids. And then 11.99. <laughs> Yeah, but that's what I'm saying, it costs more for you. You gobby little shit. Bloody batteries going now. I've got I've got two of them already at home. I thought that one was lovely. That's lovely as well, right? I bet Josh would love that though. 7 99 advent calendar. Cute. They are so cute, those little tea light holders, look at them. He'll watch that. What is it? Captain, he's reading books. Why does he like that? He reading books, yesterday. Oh, right, I'll get him that one. Your dad's gonna go mad with me. Trying to tuck you in here. Right, I don't know how close I am to you. Let me try and... I've only moved this far away. I can see you, Ryan. Right. Just been in home bargains and got a few bits. So I thought I'd try to do a little haul in the minibus before I get home. But they're in really out to all, to be honest. I didn't buy out that amazing. I've got like a big bottle of Lenore for 3 99 Big bottles of Coke, two for four pound. Ryan got a pencil case for school, which were about 59 pence, I think it was. Got Caitlin these because she absolutely loves them. These um, flips. £1.49. I don't know how close I am to you. <laughs> I bet you're like, oh, get out of the way. Um, I did get a couple of little Christmas sticker books for kids just to keep them entertained a bit. Um, they're all stickers that they've got inside. So I'm really going to enjoy picking these off my floor and wherever Millie bloody sticks them to. Did get, now I haven't done this for ages. I think the last time I crocheted was when I was pregnant with Joshua. So anyway, I've bought myself some crochet hooks and I did get some wool. So two for 99p, well, no, 99p each. Um, I got a red and a white because I thought I'm just going to try and make my own candy cane. <laughs> really random, I know. Um, I did get this. Now we're watching. Oh, I'm really close to you, aren't I? I can see you, Daniel. Oh, hang on. I'm just so close. I can't get the right angle to be able to talk to you properly. But I've been watching... Oh my God, it's Elizabeth. I was watching last night, Elizabeth Positivity, is it? I can't remember. Um, I will link a channel or, or add it in here. Do I link it or add it? What do I do? What do I do? I forgot. Right, I've decided just to hold you because I don't think that's any good. You can see my son there messing about. You need a bleeding haircut. I do, I look like a Mario mushroom. <laughs> a Mario mushroom. My hair ain't much better. It needs a good wash and scrub. My friend Hannah lent me some stuff um, to try it. To, and it has worked on these bits, but it's still quite brassy, I think, at the front. Like, a bit orangey, but these blondie bits are quite nice. Right, anyway, I was showing you my wool, so I thought... I'm going to try and start to um, crochet a little bit again and make my own tent. Oh, I did show you that, didn't I? What the fuck am I on? But, right. No, it, well, we're going to show you. Um, I, I've been watching a lady called 
Elizabeth um, Healthy Life, Positive Life, I think she's called. And she, she's like done massive £700 Sainsbury's hauls and £400 Sainsbury's food hauls. She's really lovely. She's expecting a baby as well. She's already got a few kids. I think it's baby number four. Um, and I did see that on her hauls, she was buying this. I'm sure it was this she were getting. Well, if you're watching, Elizabeth, they are one pound. How much were they? I forgot. Wouldn't they know? Wouldn't they? Yeah, yeah, one ninety nine. One ninety nine a pot in home bargains if you're interested. I bought two um for him. You can see oh crap I've bought here look. Um I did get a jigsaw because Daniel likes to get a jigsaw every time we go out these days. He just loves jigsaws. Um so I did get him one of them and I also Darren, is this your jigsaw? Yeah, I got that one Oh no, you got oh shit, I've spilled my latte. Oh, you got no. you got he got oh oh got <laughs> he got the um ocean one yeah and daniel got harry potter how much were harry potter daniel two pounds it was two pound that, that one it was three pounds yeah 299 i think was well, four quid but but that's a you used your pieces. money, didn't you? Yeah, that's a thousand people pieces. <sighs> Daniel only you only has a hundred. But I should really buy you that because if I bought Daniel one, I can't not buy you one. Because a thousand um, pieces too big for my desk. <laughs> Yeah, but you've got like loads of a hundred piece jigsaws. Uh, yeah, where do you put all that? <laughs> Daniel, he absolutely loves doing his jigsaws. So we've got him, um, and, well, that's Daniel's that I've just shown you. I'd show you Ryan's, but I'm playing Jenga a little bit here and I don't know what's going to fall over. Uh, the boys did get the dad some of his favourite chocolates. I got Jodie some um, paints that she needs and I got her another tube of acrylic paint. I've got a few bits here. I've not got mega loads. I don't think I really got anything exciting to show you. I really did want to get the nice mirrors and vases and pampas grass. Not because I'm a swinger. I've heard if you have pampas grass, it's because you're a swing. I mean, they wouldn't know what I'm on about. But um, yeah, it's not for that reason. I'm not going to start putting it in my window or out like that. But um, it, I just really like the look of it. They've got some gorgeous pink and teal colours. I can't remember if I've um, taken a bit of footage to show you, but I did take some footage in there. Are you laughing at me? What are you doing? I've gone to anywhere. I'm sat. I'm sat in van. I've got a grind went in and got me a Greg's um, coffee. We'll have to get back though because George is watching Millie for me and Dave sleeping and stuff. Where's some chocolates you got, your dad? Oh, uh, back here. I have got a Christmas tree there. Can you see it? It's absolutely lovely. Oh, there's my cardigan. I was looking for. It's on top of it. That grey one. It's a gorgeous tree out at range. It's lovely, but um. It's a bit reckless doing it minibus, isn't it? We've not been in this bus for ages and we are on about getting rid of it, but we need to sort house out first and do other stuff. And obviously we want to get married again and do all that. There's all these big plans. It's just, there's all these little hurdles first and you get fed up, don't you? But we'll get there, won't we? Um, how are you anyway? You all right? You can't tell me, can you, like this? But tell me in comments and I'll, I'll uh, it'll be nice to, to read how you're getting on because it's been like a week, hasn't it? I'm taking my shoes off. I'm going to drive home barefoot. I'm too hot. I could take my coat off actually. Right, hang on. Yeah, I did. I got Shane that Captain Underpants um, DVD that was three ninety nine. That's just down there. I did pick up some glittery spiders. I think they were were ninety nine p. Yeah. Um, I got four. Now these are because I'm going to make an autumn, not an autumnal, a Halloween wreath for my door, which is why I wanted to go to B and M actually. Cause I, I don't know what I did with my hook that I had, you know, to put it on outside. I'm going to make one myself. Um, yeah, I've got the wreath from last year. That I had leaves on it, so we've taken all them off, and I'm gonna, um, I'm gonna sew some. I've got some ribbon from eBay, and I'm gonna sew some like Halloween bows and stick shit like that on it, and look like I've put a bit of effort in. And uh, I did get uh, a new book. Oh look, it's got a little star in it. I thought we were actual Tinkerbell then. It's a Born to Sparkle. It's a Tinkerbelly one. Um, these are one forty nine, but because lad at desk didn't know how much to buy, I just put it through for ninety nine p. So I've got a lovely little book. This is for me, but I've got a feeling Caitlin's going to try and take it off me. Um, so I got that. I did get the hamster, a little Christmas heart thing, and a tub of these for my five cat. But I've bought them some little cat treats there teddy will no doubt have his head in there these are better in the plastic box because obviously they can't open them with the claws and stuff which is what teddy often does so i'm gonna stop waffling drink this coffee get home and i better check out my husband is right everyone i'm home ignore all the washing in the background um i've just come to check on dave and this is the sight that i've seen you all right there dave <laughs> <laughs> oh my poor little covid bear You're not happy, are you? Been confined to the house. <laughs>
You feel like you've got an heavy cold at the minute, don't you? So, because well, you've got 10 days off though, don't you think we can get this paper off behind you and start that panel in? <laughs> By the way, everybody, I was just joking. I wouldn't um, make him do that when he's, he's not at work. My windowsill is just covered in bloody toys. And yet again, that's so all they do is cover me house and stuff. Everywhere, toys and that. I'm gonna go upstairs. Oh my God, Ryan, that is gonna take you forever. This is Ryan's um, current jigsaw. <laughs> What are you doing? Right, I'm gonna wash this off. I've already washed up a, a little bit of it there. Um, I just saw it outside and I've already put the dinner on. I'm making them that southern fried chicken stuff. I don't know what else to do. Um, I'm only gonna go sort the Toy Story room out a little bit. There's a bit of a mess in there. and. Just get these to bed after that, I think, and then do it for have a quiet one. I said to Dave, you can't have, you can't have a drink now because you've got coronavirus, you're not supposed to. And they went, I'm having my beers, so. But I'm not, I'm not going to have any because with him not being well, everything's literally on me. So um, I'm not going to have a drink tonight. And uh, to be honest, all week Dave's had odd one. But I've just, I've, I've been, I've been feeling like run down like poly, but I've just been feeling really overtired. Um, but whenever I drink it knackers me out and I just don't need it right now. So Ryan bless him, got his dad these four ninety nine out of home bags in the kitchen is an absolute mess I'm gonna try to tidy it up. But um yeah, I'm gonna go give him a cup. Steak and steaks out freezer. <laughs> I'm gonna make him um steak and chips later on. 